Hey everybody, this is Pastor Mark coming to you live from the Bear Den. Um, yeah, guess what? I forgot to do it this morning. And this is what happens when I sleep in too late or have a hard time getting up. Anyway, um, so thank you to Jurgen Finch who reminded me, uh, hey, you didn't do a broadcast today. So uh, I'm glad this is not a um, regular thing. So hopefully... Uh, well, tomorrow I'll work very hard to make sure I get it done early in the morning. So we may find out why I do this early in the morning today. We'll see. I got the boys. They're up. They're running around doing their thing. Rachel's gone. So this could prove interesting today. So hope everybody has had a good day so far. Um, I'm coming to you uh, at the end of my day. Uh, and I'm still not done. We're still kind of cruising. We've got a lot to do. Um, still got a lot to do to get ready for uh, Sunday, but uh, we are cruising along. So it's been been a day. So I am sharing to you with you today from one of my favorite writers, uh, Timothy Keller, who is a pastor, I believe, in New York. And this is called uh, God's Wisdom for Navigating Life. And this is a whole year-long devotional that he's done. This is not the one I'm doing currently, but this I just found to be interesting today. As uh, today's tax day, yay! So if you have your taxes done already, kudos. Um, that's awesome. Good job. Uh, we got ours done a long time ago. But I used to be the guy who waited till like the very last second. And so April 15th, when I was a young man, uh, was a scary day for me. And a stressful day and full of anxiety. So we are going to, uh, I want to read from... Proverbs chapter 12, verse 25, and it says this, Anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. Now, we have a lot of people going through a lot. Uh, we have a lot of people going through a lot of anxiety right now. And, then, you know, and, you know I, anxiety you can have with any job that you have or any situation in life. Life can bring anxiety and Boy, the um, Solomon was right when he said, "This really weighs down the heart. This weighs you down when you um, when you when you allow the, allow it to take over, and it's it's sad, it's hard. And but you know what? We all do it. We all do it. I know I get anxious. I get anxious. And sometimes I get anxious about the the really silly things. Um, it's it's a weird thing. Sometimes when it's like really a huge intense situation i can be as calm as a cucumber but then when it comes to little tiny piddly things i'm like bah! so we're gonna hear from timothy keller and see what he has to say about anxiety so he says anxiety the hebrew word translated as anxiety means the emotional distress caused when something vital to your life is threatened the key to dealing with anxiety is to look at our heart attitude toward the thing threatened. There are many things that are considered important for a high quality of life in this world. Yet, as we, as we have seen, if we rely on God the most, that makes everything else less vital and thus our lives less, fra less fragile. Anxiety cannot be completely eliminated because Paul loved his young churches. He was anxious for them. 2 Corinthians 11.28, if you want to look that up. And he, all, he counsels us to avoid debilitating anxiety by deliberately resting our hearts in God rather than anything else. Philippians 4.6-9. In his proverb, however, we are told we should not try to deal with anxiety on our own. We need a kind word from others. We need people to affirm us, to relate their own experience, to point us to God, or even just to be there so we don't feel so alone. What helps you the most when you are anxious? Have you used all the spiritual resources you have for anxiety? So let's think about that for a minute. How do you, how do you deal with anxiety? 
Um, do you let it weigh you down? Do you let all the worries of this world, all the fears, all the little things that could go wrong, are those the thing that things that you are relying on? Or are you relying on God for your strength, for your hope, for your help? Um, I think about all the stuff we have going on with this COVID-19 stuff. And that brings a lot of anxiety to so many people. And everybody is approaching it in a different way. Everybody's dealing with it in a different way. But it's a cause of anxiety for a lot of people. And it's been a cause of division even in families. Because not everybody agrees on, on how to deal with this. And what what God is teaching us is that we need to rely on him. We need to trust in him no matter what. And and that's where our encouragement and our strength comes from. We also need to encourage people. We need to lift them up. We need to build them up. And uh, I'll be honest, I'm not always the best at building people up with my words. And, and I have to be careful of that. I have to think about that. And, and so... Um, with that, it may, when you find somebody who's anxious, do your best just to give them a word of encouragement, to, to show them the love that Christ has for you. I just, I, I look at this verse and when it says anxiety weighs down the heart. I mean, what a picture that gives us of the, just the weight that it puts on us and the, um, struggle and uh but yet he backs it right up with but a kind word cheers us up so whoever's watching whoever's listening to this right now if you are having a rough day if you are full of anxiety today let me tell you you are a blessing you are a blessing because god made you you are a blessing because you are made in his image and you are loved. And if you don't feel like you're loved by people, I can guarantee that God loves you. And he loves you with all his heart. And he wants you to love him. You don't have to live with the weight of anxiety hanging around your heart. There is hope in Jesus Christ. There is hope in the, the fact that he died on the cross, he rose from the dead for each one of us, you have hope. And I pray that, you know, even though um, this, is, this is coming late today, I pray that maybe, maybe this is coming at just the right moment that you needed to hear something from God. Because this isn't necessarily, this isn't from me, but from God. His word is from him. And when you... When when God gives us words like this, when He, I mean, I mean, He really points out the truth that anxiety just weighs us down, it drags us down, it it uh, affects our confidence. But yet, if we can give a kind word to somebody, you will be blessed. So, it, whoever you're in contact with today. Give them a kind word. I want to give you each a kind word. Who is watching and listening, you are a blessing in different ways. In fact, I see many of you um, <laughs> who are who have direct connections with me. Even if you don't, maybe I haven't seen you in years. You, you've made an impact on my life. I wouldn't be here doing what I'm doing right now, doing what God has blessed our family with to be able to do if it wasn't for so many of you being a blessing. So keep being a blessing to others and encourage them. Do not let anxiety overcome you or overwhelm you and, and fight it by the power of Jesus' name. Let me pray for you. I know some of you are getting ready for drumming. So I uh, hope you guys have a great drumming night. And uh, let me pray for you, Lord Jesus. I pray that you will help each of us to build each other up, to encourage one another, to have a kind word, to love one another well. And we pray against anxiety. Anxiety has no power here because we lean on the power of Jesus Christ 
And we love him and we know he loves us. And I just pray your blessing over everybody listening tonight. Pray for the other podcasts that are happening tonight. I pray for the drummers that are drumming tonight. We pray that they have a great workout and a time of worship. And we just lift our hearts to you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Have a good rest of your night, everybody. And we will see you in the morning.